Hello, this is Reindeer's Bees, and today I'm going to explain how to build a six frame Lysa nuke box. So this is what they look like. And they, you can buy them from Better Bee. I think Bison has a website, so you could buy them there as well. Uh, they have very thick sidewalls. So they'd be a great um, way to overwinter nukes in the far north. They would also probably do quite well in the south um, at getting holding away the hot the high heats. So it just would help the bees regulate temperature a lot. This this polystyrene really makes a big difference for the bees. So I haven't seen there was not a single video that I could find on YouTube about how to assemble these, and they didn't come with any directions. And I've heard a lot of the directions from license since they are manufactured in Poland are are not are not in English. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so unfortunately I made a mistake and forgot to uh, not le or leave one unassembled for the video, but what I did to get it assembled originally, they come as two side pieces and two end pieces that aren't connected. And what you want to do is uh, line them up together and then tighten the clamp around them. And then you can slowly adjust the sides of the box till everything fits perfectly. And you can get it dead on 100%. You'll need to be doing it on something flat to make sure that it's it's um, accurate. So now once you've got um, once you've got them in the clamps, all you need to do is take the long screws um, and then just use I don't I can't know what this built uh, this bit's called. I think it's like a star bit. Looks kind of like an X. Um, and then there's guide holes in three spots on the sides of the box. So you fill those guide holes with screws. Uh, I did the top two, and then I would uh, take off the clamps and do the last four, um, four on the box. So then once you have all the screws into your box, loosen the clamps, and then you're good. You don't need the clamps anymore. So now you have your box assembled. Um, this gets the main parts of the box. The next part is to add the latches. So since the tops are so light, they come with these latches. I don't know what the system's called, but these reach over and then you're able to tighten it down using this. And so that keeps the top connected to the box. For the box side, you want the kind of latch thingy and then the top of the box, or the separate piece, uses the little latch piece. I made a mistake myself. Make sure the frame rest side is facing up and the holes, the guide holes right here, fit the this, this piece. So then just use your drill. Try to go as straight as you can. This one is good. So now that you've got both of these attached, you need the other side that clips into them. So here's what the top looks like when it arrives. This um, has these holes here. I'll show you that at the end of the video. You can plug them uh, either ven with ventilation or without. So same idea. You take these pieces and you put them in and screw them in. Okay, so now that you have them built, it's as simple as putting this latch over the top here and then you lock it onto the box and these two things aren't going to be separated by anything so and if it's not latching on tightly enough uh, you can adjust the settings so let's say it's really loose you accidentally loosened it when you're putting it on it doesn't really latch there's no pressure so all you have to do 
is spin it, uh, spin it left, and that tightens it. And you can have it too tight where I think it pulls too much on the box, but that's the basics of it. Um, so if it's not, if it's latching too tight and can't get all the way down or not enough, you can just spin it either way. Then the holes. So there's these holes in the tops and you can either do two things with them. So there is a like vented option here. So I imagine if you're, let's say you're moving this nuke from one yard to another and you want to give the hive a little ventilation during the summer. You can just stick these in here and that'll help them not overheat while you have them, um, while you are moving them. The other option is these other styrofoam plugs. So these would be for maximum insulation. So I would generally use these probably year round unless I'm moving this hive. So these will work just fine and they fit really tightly. It's almost, it's hard to even get them out once you've pushed them in there. And they, there's four, they come with four per box as with the vented ones. And so you're able to plug these holes. These nukes also come with a feeder. I think the feeder was $17 and the nuke was 56. So they're quite expensive, but I figure this will last what, 20 years? And I'm gonna be able to overwinter so many hives through the winter, uh, not because of it, but it certainly can't hurt. If you have a small colony, they'll be able to conserve heat much better and eat a lot less food. And if you only have six frames, that's pretty important. So there's even a little hole here that you can pop out to feed sugar, the dry sugar during the winter. But the other, the way this feeder is used is the bees come up through these channels and once they come up through them, you put these little white pieces um, into the, use the two pegs, put them into the two holes and the bees are able to get up into here and they drink the sugar water um, through there because the depending on the level of the sugar water, like if the sugar water level in the feeder is up here, then it will slowly seep up to the same height inside of the white pieces so the bees can get the syrup. You just toss this under the feeder and that should do the trick. Once you put on the feeder, you're gonna have to um, loosen these just spin them and uh, then you'll be able to tighten it down without destroying the box. All right, so the bottom boards, they have uh, vent settings or settings where you can plug them. Uh, they come with the nuke. So for me, what I'm gonna do is just put these inside. I could glue them or something in, but I wanna leave them loosely in here so that way when I want to move a hive, I can pull these out and then put the, um, put the vented things in the top part of the box. And that way the hive will be less likely to overheat when I move them. And generally year round, I'm going to leave these in. Uh, they can fit on either side, but they would fall out if they were on the underside. So I'm going to put them in here and it gives me the flexibility to have ventilation or not. So then the last piece to talk about with this uh, box is the entrance reducer. So to be completely honest, I'm not entirely sure how this would work. This setting seems too small for the bees to fit through. So I would assume that would be the one to like lock them in there. These break off. Um, and so I think you just screw it in there because there are some extra, extra screws for it. So I'm not entirely sure. Let me know in the comments what you know about these. I figured I'd make this video any, anyways, even though I don't know everything about these nukes because uh, there's not a single video about it. So I just figured, why not? It can't hurt, even if I don't know absolutely everything about them. So that's, that's my plan. I'm gonna use these as mating nukes during the summer. And I think it'll be great, especially in the early spring when I'm making splits and there's colder nights. This box is gonna be a lot easier for the bees to heat since it's uh, polystyrene. It'll hold much more heat than a wood box. Not saying that wood boxes don't work, but I just think it'll be a lot easier on the bees. My closing thought for this video is, 
these are the perfect size to have two supers over them. So I don't know if I'll ever have three of them in the same yard, but if we get an early honey flow in like mid August, then I could potentially add two honey supers on and then put queen excluders in between the boxes. Then the queens couldn't go from in between to fight each other and they could make a lot of honey. I'd say if we get a good flow that time of year, they could make uh, four supers probably. I mean, if they're drawn. So I don't know, that, that's an exciting idea for me. If you're interested in how to use basic bee equipment, check out this video. It explains all the basic parts you need for a hive. So if you're just getting started, this will help you figure out what you need.